Recently, construction has started at the site of the new B&B Entertainment Complex. The new facility is set to open in spring and will bring another business to the Liberty Triangle. In 2016, the Liberty Commons wiped out the old B&B Liberty Theater. They then chose the vacant lot by the high school as their new location. B&B Director of Public Relations Paul Farnsworth says that the area is great for the new building. Yeah, it, well, I guess the question in this area is a big one. That was a big discussion in terms of where would be an ideal place to build. We had a location not far away uh, for a number of years, and when the opportunity came to rebuild and bring some new amenities, um, you know, we were excited to jump at the opportunity. One problem revolving around the new construction of the theater is how will parking work with events at the high school. Farnsworth is confident, however, that there will be adequate parking for both facilities. Yeah, a lot of people have talked to me and to, to us at B&B about that. Um, you might get a shot before you guys head out of here. This empty spot behind us will be all parking lot. We'll have over 400 stalls. So I think that parking will be more than adequate for the theater and will even supplement events that might be happening at, at the uh, school from time to time. The new $11 million state-of-the-art entertainment complex will house 12 screens, including three IMAX screens. But the new center will house more than just theaters. Yeah, some of those amenities we're not quite ready to announce uh, just yet. We, we will have two of the largest screens in the nation here in Liberty, certainly two of the largest screens in the Kansas City Metro. Uh, we're going to have extended menus for food and beverage service. There will be a full-service bar, uh, which might not hit you guys specifically, but uh, guests over 21 can certainly enjoy a, a wine, beer, cocktail in, in those auditoriums. And then some different concepts uh, that have not been seen in Liberty and maybe not even in the uh, Kansas City area just yet. The completion of the new theater will be something to look forward to in the spring. This has been John Alvey, Thomas Hand, and Jacob Wolfley signing off for KLHS News.